What's good, YouTube family? This your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live, ladies and gentlemen. We got Juice World breaking news, and it's a good news for the late rapper that passed. And we're gonna go deep into that. And before we do, you know how we do it. We gotta pay these bills right quick. Salute to everybody. All right, before we pay these bills, look, y'all, this is DJ underscore bless one. Find me on Instagram and come rock out and chill with your guy right quick. Salute to everybody. Now, Juice World, they're telling us that, well, they being that the team. Now, first of all, his posthumous Juice World project and HBO documentary is on the way, according to his team. Now, the team announced this recently and the 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 recent project that a lot, a lot of people was long awaited for so basically you got juice world getting ready to give us some more heat even in the passing times kind of like reminiscent of two pops and all these other rappers i feel like it's good to have projects available you know what i mean just in case when you pass so family friends can have a long lift of catalogs and through your estates to work with not just that it also goes towards your legacy so i mean basically in a recent interview juice world team basically announced a new ep the party never ends will include features from little uzi vert and a few other heavy hitters and they demanded that the leakers not ruin the moment by leaking tracks or holding them for ransom i mean that's that's tough look because i if we know anything about leakers and shit like that like let's just keep it real like they they literally leak everything especially in today's world of technology warren buffett once coined the phrase we are in the things of the internet and and basically everything is ruled by this now so i hope it's not leaked but most likely some hip-hop head or or whatever a connoisseur of the money life is gonna find a way to get that but it's just more of i'm more worried and hoping that it's a great project i'm hoping it, it pulls through now they're saying additionally juice world is said to appear in his own hbo documentary but details on both projects basically remain scarce at this time you know what i'm saying the late mc has been hopping basically everywhere through the screens in the, in the media as far as projects and work and people bringing it up as far as what he got going on now we know his team recently dropped a deluxe anniversary edition of his debut goodbye and good riddance to celebrate the album's third part i mean birthday party now the re-release featured a remix of lucid dreams with basically little uzi vert um as well as a new solo track 734 unfortunately basically all this was good news for juice world estates of late but the producer ghost loft also recently filed a lawsuit against the rapper's team i mean that's kind of sickening you getting people who are filing lawsuits during the time you know family is still in mourning i know it's been like uh, over a year and a couple of change but it's like you know what i mean like let, let him get his projects off if that's the case i don't know let let the projects be off. At least that's how I personally feel, man. I, I I don't see how the lawsuit could be substantial unless if they did rob him. I mean, it is what it is. I, I can't tell you much other than hoping that, you know, the project is a banger. I think that's the only thing we can honestly say. Now, claiming, basically the rapper it was claiming that Juice World's team and Juice World himself knowingly ripped off 16 bars from his song. You know what I'm saying? So he's saying that Juice World knowingly basically robbed him. Basically, it was a song called So High. You know what I'm saying? Um, the producer, real name, Danny Troy, claimed that Juice and Mitch Mula were the only credited songwriters on the song uh, Scared of Love, which appeared on Juice's debut. And they said Troy also, not Troy, but Troy, C-H-O-I also claims that mula allegedly confessed to the producer basically that at a later date that they had indeed sampled his beat in other words we did hijack homie they took what they needed from him allegedly you know what i mean but they said they just sampled some of it in response troy is suing mula juice world's mother and the executioner of his estates carmelo wallace i mean this is kind of you know crazy i ain't gonna lie to you it's it's wild i mean to be deep into that you know what i mean it seems like a lot of things are going on i mean i hope people 
whoever is responsible for Juice World's finances in the States. I hope they fix this and make sure things will go right on all parties involved. To be fair with you, all parties involved, I hope it goes right. Look, man, I'm your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed, gang.